Welcome to Backstage. We are on location at Cafe 22. I have with me the lovely Galen McGregor. Well, Dorothy's mom. <laughs> Every week we'll get to you. And this great guy here. Well, you know what? Give us a little test of the voice. The voice. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Jerry Cianfloni from Pizza Hotline. And I got up. I got out of saying Cianfloni. You got it. You're you're perfect. <laughs> you got it perfect. Bang on. All right. Why are these two people so special and why do their names ring a bell well because for one jerry has been so amazing on all your commercials jerry supporting one incredible girl called colleen Furlan. absolutely yes we're happy we're very happy to do that you know colleen's a great uh individual she's she does a wonderful job and uh she's from winnipeg she's a she's a customer the, winnipeg is small everyone knows each other so it's just the right thing to do it's so, so incredible and so Winnipeg, Jerry, what you're doing. And Galen, we met you this past summer sitting there with Colleen and her hopes, folks, of becoming the next Dorothy. This is what it's all about, the CBC reality show Over the Rainbow. Every week you've been going to Toronto. I have. I, I leave early Sunday morning and come home right after the results show on Monday nights. And how many weeks have you been doing this? Oh gosh, well, uh, six, seven weeks. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna get right down to it. Okay, Jerry, you've seen some of the fan support here. Yes. Yeah, pretty incredible. Oh, it's incredible. This is Winnipeg, right? <laughs> we support each other, we, we're there for each other. This is what Winnipeg is. Okay, so now, every week, the girls compete. We are down now to the top four. If Colleen makes it, she is in the final. Yes. The final takes place November 4th, big voting needed then, and November 5th, Dorothy is announced the winner. What are some of the peaks and valleys that not only you've gone through, but Colleen too? Well, for myself, I know uh, I'm very proud that Colleen is able to showcase her talents on a national TV stage. Hopefully, if uh, this role isn't to be, that there will be something else. I'm just so proud that everybody else gets to see just how wonderful she is. Uh, however, there, is, uh, there are some downsides. Um, you know, the uh, adjudicators can be a bit critical, so it's very hard as a mother to hear some of the things, especially when they're not in a constructive way. Um, but, you know, we signed up for that, so, and Colleen's tough. It actually works in reverse. It makes her push even further. And, uh, and she's my inspiration. She allows me to keep going in a positive way because she does, so I don't really have much of a choice. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, it's all kind of, I guess, a little bit out there, the musical theater world, but Jerry, following this whole journey and seeing, you know, how Colleen has grown and how Galen has grown, what's it been like for you? Well, uh, you know, I, 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 I've said it before, I'm not, I've never been into any these types of shows. But, you know, I, after the first one and being attached to, you know, Winnipeg, and I, I, got, I, got, I kind of got hooked. So mm -hmm. I was out of town last week. I had to find out who's winning, what's going on. And it's exciting. It's very exciting. It is. And, uh, and you know, I think, uh, I think Colleen does a wonderful job, and uh, she just needs to focus on the audience and, and, uh, and, and stay stay positive and uh and, and and she's come a long way and uh, we're all proud of her winnipeg's proud of her um she's just got to continue to do what she's been doing yeah most definitely all right though there has been some negative responses and it's all i think because social media i know that it's also a, a, a popularity contest people have to vote in, in for their favorite and you're putting yourself out there. I understand the passion that some people have for their particular Dorothy and what upsets me is uh, when they feel they have to put down other people to raise themselves and, and really I'm not that kind of a person, Colleen's not that kind of a person and, and we just celebrate all of them. All of the girls are talented, they wouldn't be where they are without it. Um, social media unfortunately it's out there right away, it can't be controlled and we understand that, that's what the world, the world that we live in right now and we just have to stay focused and believe in ourselves and Colleen is a champion at that. She <laughs> is fantastic, she can just push it all, all away. She's been involved with subjective adjudication her entire life. Mm -hmm. And it really, like as I mentioned before, just pushes her harder. Oh, okay. So we are voting for you, Colleen, hoping for you, Colleen. 
Thank you so much, Jerry, for all your support locally Well, thank you. I'm glad, I'm glad to be a part of this, and I hope the rest of Winnipeg comes on board for this final stretch and really, really pushes. And, and you know what? She's here because we've, we're behind her and, and, and we're supporting her with her votes. That's what she needs now. She needs Winnipeg getting on those phones and getting online and, and voting yes for Colleen. Over the rainbow, Colleen Ferlin, you are going to be the next Dorothy. Thank you so much, Galen. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you. Back Thank you. Backstage continues right after this.